Hi, I'm Melissa. Della and I are back again to talk about our favorite digital resource to use in the classroom, Boom Cards. If you watched our last video, Della and I talked about Boom Cards and all the features that make Boom so unique. In this video, Della and I are going to walk you through setting up your first Boom classroom. Not only are we going to show you how to set up your classroom, we're going to show you how to add your students and customize their login to make sure this process is as smooth as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. You've created your Boom Classroom. You're ready to get started adding students into your classroom. So from your login screen, you're going to click the top left hand icon that says Classes. Here you'll see my three math blocks pull up but it's easy to add another classroom. So click on the blue button that says New Classroom. When I click on it, I have a new class. I need to change this. If you had more than one class, you can name it by blocks, by class names. If you were in a self-contained setting, you could change the names to maybe the names of your leveled groups. So click directly on top of the name that Boom has given the class, and you can change it. So in this video, I'm gonna call this a demo class. Now, my students log in using a username for the class. So right here where it says username, you'll see a lot of letters that they're never going to remember. I can click on that to customize my username. So maybe I wanna call it demo class one and the password to get into the demo class I probably want it to be simple I'm just gonna type ABC and I can change that whenever I need to now that my classroom is set up and my username and password are changed I'm ready to add my students as you can see in this blue box I can either add one student or I can add many students I'm going to click add many students so you can sh so I can show you how simple this is. So I'm just going to start to type some names. And it's asking me for a default password. For right now I'm just going to type 1 2 3 and click add students you will see all the students just got added to my classroom. Now, if I don't want the default password to be 123 for all of my students, I can click on the plus symbol next to any of the students and change their password. Click password, and maybe I want hers to be her name. Maybe I want Ashlyn's to be the word dog, you get the idea. So it's easy to change the passwords if you don't want to use a default password. Now that your class is set up, your students are ready to log in and get started with Boom. So let me show you what it looks like on the student's end. So here our class name is Demo Class 1 and the password is ABC. So I'm gonna log out of my account and I'm back on the Boom home screen. Students, if they want to log in, they'll click the green student sign in. And instead of typing an email, they're going to type in the demo class one. And our password to get into our class was ABC. And here they can see all the students in their classroom. So if Easton wanted to log in, he would click his name and his password, because we didn't change it, was 123. Now Easton is in his own account. That is one way that your students can log in. Another way your students can log in is not using the class name. Instead, they would need to have their own username and password. Typically, I just have the students log in with our block, so demo class one, demo class two, and they find their name and type their password. But let me show you another way if you want to try it differently. You can have students log in. If you don't want them to use this demo class one, 
and see all the students in their classroom. You're going to go back to this screen where you have your classes set up. Go into the demo class. So you want to click this plus button. So it will drop down and you can see all the students. Underneath the students' names, you can see a big long username. That can be customized. So maybe the students have a login and a lunch number. So let's say Adele's number was Adele123, or we could probably change it to their birthday. And now their password, their usernames are changed. I don't remember what I set up her password as, so I'm going to change it to 123. And I'll show you how different this looks instead of having the students log in through their class name. So I'm going to log out of my account, click on student sign in. Ashlyn would type Ashlyn924 and her password was 123. She would click sign in and she would go directly into her account and not see all the other students sign into the classroom. So it's just based on your preference how you want the students to log in. Now that I've shown you how to set up a classroom and how to have the students log in, Dell is going to show you a great feature of Boom that she loves using with her primary students. Hi, so Melissa just showed you how to set up your class and if you have kids in the upper grade you're probably all set. But if you're down in the primary like me, you might need a couple of extra tips to help you figure out how to help the kids log in. Well, Boom has made it so easy because they have introduced picture login cards. Now, my kids are loving this. They are using the pictures to help them log into their devices so quickly and easily. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So looking at how to do the image logins really is very easy. Come up to your classes. I have quite a few classes. And click on the um, graduation cap. You click on there and you can just click, it drops down. Here is passwords and it's going to give you this prompt. And you can say, yes, I want to use picture um, passwords. Say, okay. And then you can change everybody in your class to have the picture password. So let's say you want the bat and the bird. You have to pick at least two, but you can pick any two you want and set new password. Now everybody in this class has the bat and the bird, but I actually don't want that. I want each child to pick their own password, which is what I would do. I mean, it's up to you. You might want everyone to have the same password, make it easy, or you may not want that. So let's say I want Biza to have a different password. I'm gonna come here again. I'm just going to my um, graduation cap, I click it, it gives me the drop down. Here's Biza. I'm going to hit the plus sign, and here I can change her password. So I like to call each child up and say, Which two images do you want? Let's say she wants the sheep and the snail. What I recommend you do is take a screenshot of that. So now we know that's Biza's, and we'll use that in a minute, but we just change the password. So Biza is the sheep and the snail. So let me show you what that looks like from the student's perspective. The student logs in and here it is, picture sign in. They click on that, they put in their name, here's Biza, and she's the sheep and the snail. And she signs in and there she is. She's right there, ready to go. All of her decks are right there. So changing the password to images is super easy, and I hope that you'll try it. I think your kids will like it. Now next, I'm going to show you how you use that screenshot to make login cards. So I love a login card. Anything that makes my life easier is all right in my book. So this is what I'm going to give you. You can get this. This is no problem. Take this uh, text here and we're going to change it. We're going to use Biza as an example. So I'm going to put in Biza's name. Now if you took that screenshot, here it is and it shows up 
those images right like that and they're both green so you can see here is Beza's card it's ready to be printed out laminated and put on a ring very simple to see here's Beza she's the sheep and the snail do this for all the other kids just change the text here put in the other kids names and put in their screenshots but what if you didn't do a screenshot, you don't know how to do a screenshot, that's fine too. I'm also giving you this page. So all you have to do here is change the name to Biza. Now, if you want, you can just print this out and just circle the sheep and the, and the snail, that's easy. But you can also come up here, so this is what I did. Come up here to shapes, go to rectangle, click on rectangle and just make a little rectangle around her come up here change it to no fill change the I like a black and there you go now you know she's the sheep and let's pretend she's also the fish since they're further away and now here's Biza's name and then you can click this and this and we're gonna copy it over here for Della's and Della is let's say the bird and the pig and you are ready oh, move her over sorry and then now you have your logging cards for your kids quick easy ready to go print it out done couldn't be any easier so feel free to use them use this um, template if you take your screenshot and you have your two pictures in green perfect if you didn't no problem just put squares around it if that's too tech for you then just circle it it's fine circle it and you'll be all set to go so feel free to use these login cards I love login cards I love the images and it's super easy for your kids to change their mind and they don't want to be the pig and the snail today they can be the dog and the snake tomorrow so super easy I hope you like it super easy right so just go to the link down below in the comments and you can grab the link that will get you those picture logging cards your kids will be logged in in no time Melissa any final thoughts now that you've seen how easy it is to set up your first boom learning classroom we hope that you're inspired to get ready to get started using boom with your students if you have any questions about your boom account setting up a classroom or adding students, feel free to reach out to Della and I, and we will be glad to help walk you through this process. Once again, we'll be back with more videos showcasing features of Boom. That way you're able to use Boom with ease and maximize all the features to the fullest potential.